Welcome back, it's Lethal Life from Axion Labs, and today we're going to talk about what to expect when you get a new GC. Let's say you've never gotten a GC before and you've ordered your first one, you've decided this is the approach for you, and um, what do you need to do to get ready for it? So a couple of pieces of advice. First of all, GCs are pretty easy going. Um, there's not a lot of special things we need for them, but we knew, do need high purity gases. Now high purity is a relative term, but think about a GC. We're measuring parts per million, parts per billion, parts per trillion of impurities. So any little impurities around, any little impurities in the helium are really gonna mess up our analysis. So make sure you're buying high quality helium. Most of us will choose helium as, as a carrier gas. So we say five nines, um, 99.9999% uh, or UHP, ultra high purity. You wanna make sure you have ultra high purity uh, helium. That's, that's a, a key thing. Same thing with the air and the uh, hydrogen. They're gonna be going into your detector and any impurities in, in the air and the hydrogen will cause uh, noise, which will limit your sensitivity. I'm a big fan of hydrogen generators. Um, Parker Ballston has, uh, has outfitted us with, with uh, generators in the past and we've, we've been using them for, for decades. Um, and they're great. You plug them in, you turn them on, and they generate, uh, I think it's seven nines uh, hydrogen. So 99.99999% hydrogen. Uh, and it does it on the fly. It doesn't store any flammable hydrogen. It just makes it out of water. In fact, we call it our house plant. We, we just water it once a week and that's all, all we do to it. Um, we also have a zero air generator, uh, again from uh, Parker Ballston. Um, it's a great way to just take compressed air and get rid of the impurities. Again, what we're going after here is the hydrocarbon impurities. So make sure you have good gases, either gas generators or you're buying good quality gases from the, the vendor. Make sure you're using good quality tubing I would buy the, the tubing, uh, the, the, uh, anything you're going to use for plumbing, buy it from a GC company, don't buy it from the hardware store. So I did all the plumbing myself in, in, here at Axion. I use quarter inch copper for all the helium lines and for all of the air lines. And then I use eighth inch stainless steel for hydrogen. I'm old school with hydrogen just from a safety perspective. I like uh, stainless steel uh, tubing for that. So that's something you could plumb yourself, but buy it from a GC company because you don't want cutting oils inside that tubing because that will uh, eventually uh, cause impurities. So let's say we get this GC, we get the good high purity gases. Um, electricity, nothing real uh, surprising here. You need a dedicated 20 amp circuit for most GCs. So dedicated 20 amp means uh, the plug sort of looks like this um, instead of like this, if that makes sense to you. And so it's a regular wall outlet. Uh, but it has that, that side piece in it. That means electricians uh, know that that means that when you plug that in, that is a dedicated 20 amp circuit. The GC doesn't really draw 20 amps. I get up to about 15 amps when everything is, is, is on. Um, uh, but from a safety perspective, uh, they're, they're supposed to be plugged into a dedicated 20 amp circuit. There are some GCs that are high voltage GCs that are the 240 volt. Of course, you need a special plug uh, for those. So now you have um, everything you need to set up the GC, nice steady bench. Uh, the proper electricity, nice clean gases, and you should be uh, you should be good to go. 